nitrogen. What's this? Hi everyone, let's discuss what nitrogen is for your plants. As you all know or might not know, nitrogen is the first digit of any NPK fertilizer. In technical terms, we call nitrogen as a macro element. And per the periodic table, nitrogen is highlighted by the letter N in capital. Nitrogen considered as the most crucial nutrient component of a plant being present in roots as proteins and enzymes that helps regulate water and nutrient uptake of the plant. In my earliest fertilization video, I simply identified nitrogen to be aiding the greenness of leaves. Here I will further explain as nitrogen a part of the chlorophyll molecule which gives plants their green color and nitrogen is directly involved in creating food for the plant through photosynthesis. The funny thing about this element of nitrogen is that it can move around the plant and once green and healthy leaf may turn yellow faster due to this nitrogen movement if there's an inadequacy of the nutrient not only in a stable plant but after a repotting because of the more energy requirements to its bearings in a total new surrounding. This is where you pump in more energy so none of the remaining structures of your plant may fail on you. And a live example of the same turn of events you saw after I repotted my Hoya Natalie. In the update video, I showed you the bottommost leaf, that is the node I purchased initially, and its upper leaf turned yellow. The same two leaves you see now are green and hardened up to its health and vigor from being dehydrated, limp and yellow, almost looking like it's on its way out. Since the plant required more nitrogen or more energy consumption, the remaining nitrogen in the plant got moved toward its much needed structures stripping off the health of the most older growths of Hoya Natalie. This state of more intensified yellowing of leaves all over a plant is also known as chlorosis and the recovery would take more time and is also a further invite to viruses, diseases or pest attacks. So, simplifying, nitrogen is the absolute crucial energy production component for better growth of flowers, fruits and vegetables of a plant. Acting as a catalyst for the other minerals, however, too much of nitrogen can cause stability issues, leaching nutrients and overstimulating top growths too. This is where we see sudden abnormal growth of a plant or vine. In a case, we purchase a high nitrogen fertilizer without reading a label and keep spraying it or a seller is showing you a beautiful leaf in a one node cutting to entice you to purchase, which is too good to be true after you repot it and do not get the same sizes of leaves. Therefore, unless you are a pro in recognizing the action of different 
fertilizer components or if your plant is not facing any nitrogen or any other deficiencies you should opt for a 2020-20 or a balanced fertilizer when caring for your plants this is a high nitrogen grow more fertilizer label in sri lanka it says 30 10 10 30 being nitrogen 10 being phosphorus and another 10 being potassium therefore the nitrogen is three times larger than the other two components making it a high nitrogen fertilizer I always explain this reading of NPK each time I do a video to teach any newcomer to my channel to read the label of a fertilizer and if I translate that label it says that the fertilizer is confirming to be both a foliar and soil spray enabling absorption through any part of the plant aiding the health of fruits and flowers the directions are given as one teaspoon per liter but if you are using any kind of fertilizer for the very first time as a best practice please start with half the strength of the recommended dosage we're talking about organic fertilizer if you use coffee grounds it is one of the best sources of nitrogen you can provide for your plant finally as a safety precaution i urge everyone to wear gloves and masks handling any fertilizer which has a warning label to be poisonous to our health and if you can cover your whole body that would be ideal since when handling sprayers it is easily contactable through air onto our hair and skin and when handling organic fertilizer it is not that crucial however the smell of degrading material will definitely make you run a bath so guys that sums up nitrogen as a macro or a main element of a fertilizer the next is phosphorus i will see you again with a video on that have a great day i hope you understood what i'm talking about and if there are any questions please do drop a comment thank you for watching my video Bye.